Hi there. I would like to show you how to change your white balance before you apply a preset. So you should always check that you have the correct white balance before you make any edits to your photo. White balance is crucial to a good image. Um, it's not necessarily how I do things most of the time. I apply my presets and then change my white balance and then see um, what I like best and what what I what's pleasing to my eye um, it is important that you do know what the correct white balance is and that you see and train your eye on seeing the pure white let me show you what I mean by that so you have white right here this is a nice even lit image there is no light coming hitting the subject from the back no backlit image no harsh light super easy so when you turn on the temperature up here the white balance let's go a little bit more in the blues so you can tell there's lots of blue in this photo and lots of blue in the white and you don't want that let's go back a little bit more and you can still still see when you look closely that there's blue in the white so when you want to change your white balance <clears throat> Click on the dropper tool. There are different ways to go about this. I'm going to show you this one. And you are going to go to a neutral color. Um, not necessarily a white color, but also not green or blonde or brown. Just a neutral color, like a gray or something. This gray is a little bit too bluish. So. I would say, <clears throat> let's stick with this one right here. Click on it and you see the whole photo changed because it changed the white balance right here. Now you can see there is no more blue or any other weird color in the white. This is all a matter of practice. You basically have to train your eye to see color even though it's not obvious. Okay, so. As I said, this is not how I do things. I do it the other way around because I feel the correct white balance is not always the best for my photos. And I think you should go with your eye and with your own taste. Okay, so let's apply some of the presets right here. I'm going with a Vandellos collection right here. Let's play it over you want. And turn on the clarity right here because that's too crunchy. Uh, just a little bit. And turn the exposure back down. Just a little bit. Maybe up the blacks a little bit more. And I think I would even make this a little bit warmer. Even though we already changed the white balance. And I'm going to do that by sliding the temperature slider to the right. Just a little bit and then get the saturation up a little bit too. This is how I would do it. Let's go look at some of the other presets, see what they do and what we can change. So with these presets right here, what you have to do is turn up your shadows. Those are a little bit more moody. Let's go to EWA. 8 out of 9, 10, let's stick with the 10. So, let me show you what I mean by you have to figure out what you think looks best on your photo. I think this looks pretty good. We already changed the white balance, but I want to see what it looks like without the white balance change. Now you can actually see it's a little bit too bluish. It's, this is also a good idea to train your eye when you go back and forth, when you go back to white balance corrected and as shot. White balance corrected and as shot. So it's a good idea to train your eyes like that. This is a little bit too blue, so let's go to auto. I actually like this. And this is how you can play around and change your images, change the white balance, but make sure you train your eye before you do all of this. So I hope this little trick helped you. 
and subscribe to my channel, leave comments below. Thanks for watching.